Hey, it's Kenny Cal Feeney, here with some more positive vibes, just to let you know that everything's gonna be all right. Today I wanna talk about a very, very important subject. Peer pressure. What is that? It's when someone around your same age wants to pressure you and influence you to do something that you really, really don't want to do. And a lot of kids fall victim to peer pressure. And they don't realize it when they're affected by it. They're just going along with the crowd most of the time. They just want to be accepted. They don't want to just stand out and be judged by their peers. And this is a problem because just because so-and-so wants to use drugs doesn't mean you should fall victim into using drugs if that's not something that you want to do. And a lot of people start drinking because of kids influencing them to do things like that. It's so many pressures growing up as kids and we don't realize it when we become adults, but a lot of our bad habits come from our childhood and being influenced by our own peers. And it's crazy because I fell victim throughout school, you know, all, all throughout my adolescent years, my teenage years, and even in my adult years, because I wanted to be accepted. I did things that I knew that wasn't morally correct and knew that I wasn't raised that way, but I did it because I wanted to be cool in front of my peers. And there's a lot of people who do this because they don't want to be talked about. Because a lot of people might call you names, call you lame, call you stupid, call you weird. Just because you're not partaking in things that they're doing. But there's a saying, you know, if they jump off a building, would you jump off a building? And if you ask yourself that question... Deep down, you know you wouldn't jump off a building. So why would you take drugs if you know that's not what you want to do? Why would you drink alcohol if that's not what you want to do? Why would you do something sexual if you know deep down that's not something that you want to do? But a lot of people fall victim to doing things that they don't want to do because they just want to fit in and they don't want to lose friendships. So they end up compromising what they believe just to please people. And this is a problem because what if somebody wants to rob a person's house or store? Then what? You ready? I don't know. What you mean you don't know? Do you really think it's smart to go break into somebody's house? Duh! So, what are you gonna do if we get caught? I don't know. <sighs> Let's go. Mm-hmm. You know you're going in first, right? What do you mean I'm going in first? Somebody got to be the lookout, right? We don't want to get caught. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. And you're going to jail. It ain't nobody got time for that. I got three steps that can help you overcome peer pressure. Here we go. The first one is... Practice saying no. Most people are so afraid to say no. Let's practice. Do you want to smoke this cigarette, man? <sighs> no. Do you want to hit this weed? No. Come on, man. Drink some of this alcohol with us. No. Do you want to have sex with me? No. Do you want to go graffiti this building, man? It'll be so fun. No. And the list goes on of the peer pressure. So why would you continue just saying yes by default and you can always say no? Step number two, ask questions. Hey man, you wanna hit this cigarette? Did you know if you keep smoking cigarettes over time, it could cause cancer? No, I didn't know that. Hey man, do you want to go break into this store with me? It's going to be a lot of money in the register. Did you know if you break into that store, 
and get caught by the police, you can do some real hard out jail time. Uh, no, I really didn't think about that. Hey man, do you want to drink some of this alcohol, man, and get real drunk? Did you know if you drink alcohol for a period of time, you can become an alcoholic? There's so many questions that you can ask about the things they're trying to pressure you about and maybe that can throw them off their game and they'll leave you alone. It's a very, very helpful step. Step number three. Be your own person. Be your own friend. And if you have to, create a circle of beliefs. And inside this circle lies what you believe in. And if they don't believe in the things that you believe in, don't hang around them anyway. Because if they're putting negativity into your circle and your circle is full of so much positivity, they don't need to be around you anyway. And don't feel like you have to have certain friends if you already have them, if they're affecting you in a negative way. Just let them go. Create your circle. And if they are not aligned with your core purpose, say goodbye. And this will help you overcome the pressure. And don't forget, you got to have peace, love, and positive vibes. Because at the end of the day, negativity kills your vibes, man. So, I don't care if it's at home, school, or anywhere else. If people are trying to peer pressure you, say no. Ask questions. And then create a circle. And this will help you overcome the pressure in your life because we don't need pressure. We're trying to go far and we're trying to stay positive and we're trying to do big things. So just keep these steps in mind and it'll take you so far in life. Just say no to peer pressure. Hey, I really wanna thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. And for the ones who are dealing with peer pressure, I hope that this video encourages you and inspires you to take the transition from the negative to the positive. Because at the end of the day, who wants to be in a negative atmosphere? And if you don't have any positive friends, I can be your positive friend. And if you don't have a positive community of people, why not subscribe to my channel and be filled with positive vibes? Have a wonderful day and don't let peer pressure stop you from living your life. Do what you love and be your authentic self. Bye.